Right now we are in New York's Lower East Side. We are on the roof of the building that is the home to our technology lab, the Lowline Lab. My name is Robin Shapiro and I'm Deputy Director for the Lowline. So the low line is an idea to revitalize New York City by taking over abandoned underground space and turning it into a growing green public space by the introduction of natural sunlight. The way that we're able to channel full spectrum natural sunlight underground is through this new type of technology which is, is right behind me right now. Essentially, we have reflectors which are calibrated to follow the path of the sun during all daylight hours. So what we're doing is capturing and harnessing the free natural power of the sun. And the light is then sort of reflected to this single focal point in here. We have this parabolic shape. And then through there, there is uh, mirrors and lenses the lenses are refocusing the light at each place along its pathway, and then it comes out on the other end of this building and then directs it through the center of our solar canopy beneath us. So we're able to bring in a huge amount of full spectrum natural sunlight. When we have sunlight outside, we have sunlight inside. But if it's a cloudy or nighttime, then we won't see that sunlight coming in. With natural sunlight that we see outside, we get a great amount of foot candles. Foot candles is essentially how we're measuring light. So the foot candles that you get with natural sunlight are much higher than you get with, say, natural indoor lighting. And because we have these higher amount of foot candles, that means we can grow a total wide variety and abundance of things in the interior of this space. And that's what we were able to demonstrate in our lab. One of the things that you can see in here is the infrared shield that is blocking out the infrared light. Because we're concentrating the sunlight, if we weren't blocking out that infrared, we'd be bringing in um, too much heat in this space. Because we don't have that heat, we even need to water our plants less than if it was growing outside. I love the sort of efficiency of thinking that, hey, we have existing abandoned space underground. There's been space that is abandoned that we don't even know about. I think it's time that we do start thinking about how we use space more effectively to serve our needs. I'm excited about taking over the underground as the next frontier.